Now that you've combined your favorite family recipes into your own personal cookbook, you should consider printing it. It's super easy to do, it makes an amazing Christmas gift, and it's surprisingly affordable. In fact, in this video I'll show you how to do it, and I'll also show you how to figure out how much it will cost for you to print your own book. The first thing you should do if you haven't done it already, is add a photo and some text to the cover of your cookbook. To do that, just click here on this Edit Cookbook tab, and then you can go over here and click on this button right here to add a photo. So add a photo to the cover, and then click here and you can type some text which will appear underneath the photo on the cover of your book. Kathy put in here, we are who we are because they were who they were. So you can put whatever kind of message or text you want there. That'll appear on the cover. And then if you want it to look really cool, click up here where it says options and then click change theme. Kathy used this one called chef's table and that looks really cool. Um, there's a lot to choose from here. I really like this one called My Classic. I think that looks really cool. But like I said, there's a lot to choose from, so choose the one that you like best. And then just click OK, and when you do, it says, Would you like to assign this theme to all of the chapters and recipes, uh, recipes inside this cookbook? Yes. Once you've done that, just right-click on your cookbook and choose Print. And now it says, Do you want cooking to print these recipes in a cookbook format? Yes. Now cooking's going to go through, and it's going to create a table of contents, the title page, the cover, the index. It's going to number all the pages and everything automatically for you. Now this cookbook here has 336 recipes and with the table of contents and index and everything it comes out to 365 pages which is quite a bit. And since the price is based on the total number of pages in your book, let's take some steps to see if we can reduce this. Just click the settings button right here and you can check this checkbox to print ingredients in two columns. That's going to save you some space. I recommend clicking this checkbox too to remove excess stuff like each recipe has a reference to which cookbook and chapter it's in and we don't really need that so I'm going to remove that. I'm going to click here to print images because I want the photos, the food photos to print. I'm not going to print nutritional info but I am going to click here to print multiple recipes per page rather than one recipe per page. And I'm going to click this checkbox as well so it will print this cookbook with that theme, that My Classic theme that I just chose. And once those are selected, just click OK. Cooking will go and reproduce the pages for you so you can preview it and see what it looks like. There we go. Now we've got it down to 215 pages, which is much better. As you can see, Cooking creates the cover here for you. Cooking makes the table of contents for you automatically. Here's the first chapter, breakfast. And here's the breakfast recipes, and you can just page through and see what this looks like and preview it, and I recommend that you do. Whatever you see here is exactly how it's going to print. In the back of the book, if you click here, you can go to the last page. You can see the index. I'm going to go back up just a few. There's the index. So Cooking calculates all this and produces all this for you. So you have a professional cookbook, and it was really pretty simple to do, right? We just basically clicked print and then adjusted a few settings and bada bing so cool all right now when your cookbook's all ready to go you can click this save button here to produce a pdf file that you can send to your local copy shop so that they can print it or you can click this print button here and you can print it on your own printer in your home but the best option is to click this button here where it says professionally bound cookbook when you click this the cook and l's will print your cookbook bind it professionally and deliver it right to your front door you'll receive a high quality professionally bound cookbook for less than half of what it will cost to print at your local copy shop. For example, I'm going to click this button now and you can do this too. You won't be charged anything in this screen and you can see exactly what the costs are. So this place order dialog comes up first and right away Kathy wants to print five cookbooks because she wants to give them to family and friends and you can see here that the price per book is only $52.98. Since there are about 215 pages in this cookbook that comes out to about 24 cents per page and that's not bad especially when you consider that the local copy shop wants to charge me 60 cents per page to print this book. So that's pretty fantastic and it looks so much better than that spiral bound photocopy thing that the local copy shop does. The professionally bound one from the cook and printing press is way better. Now if Kathy didn't want to spend this much, she could remove some recipes to cut down on the number of pages of her book because 215 pages is still quite a bit. The other thing she can do is the more copies you print, the lower the price per book. So for example, if she wanted to print 10 copies, then it's only $48. And if she wanted to print 25 copies, for example, 
then it's only $45 per book. So give it a shot. Print your own cookbook this Christmas and give a personalized gift. Not something you buy at the store. Give a personalized gift that your family and your friends will treasure forever.